evening and welcome to TR Physics and today I'm going to talk about the cyclotron. Now the cyclotron is a special piece of equipment that is used in um, ha uh, particle colliders to speed up the particles up to a certain amount of speed to be actually, that's when they collide, you can see some really interesting results. Now a cyclotron is a merging between electric fields and magnetic fields. And thus is in both playlists. So you'll see this in the magnetic fields one and electric fields one. And they're both second year subjects. So you, this is a very good blending of synoptic questions right here. So the basic premise of a cyclotron is I take a particle here. I'm going to take a positive particle. And I'm going to stick it into this idea here. That I've got two Ds. Okay. So these are Ds. And they are Ds because they are shaped like a D. Here are the Ds, okay? And while inside the Ds, there is a constant magnetic field. And in this case, my magnetic field is going into the page, okay? Now, there's a gap across. Now, this gap here has an alternating electric field okay so across this gap i have a field that keeps changing from positive to negative so it keeps flipping like that currently i have it positive and negative here okay and this alternating um, electric field is timed to do with when the particle reaches the next part all right so my particle is positively charged so this is currently in the electric field. And so it is going to be accelerated. It's going to feel a force due to the electric field. And it's going to be accelerated towards the appropriate charge. So in this case, it's going to be accelerated this way. I'm going to do it in a red pen. When it enters this D here, it's no longer in the electric field. It is going to feel the magnetic one. So using Fleming's left-hand rule, my field is going, my magnetic field is going into the page. My charge, remember this is from positive to negative and that is the same direction a positive charge would go. So field in, current will be down here. So if I draw a little bit of a diagram, my force would go in. Let me grab the So my velocity is this way. My force is going to be this way. If your force is perpendicular to your velocity, that causes circular motion. So this particle is going to move around in a circle like this. At every point, there's my velocity, there is my force, spinning me around. Until I get back to where I started. And by this point, my field would have swapped. Now this would become negative and this one would be positive. So what's going to happen is my particle will be then accelerated towards, accelerated towards the other D. While in that D there, here, let's actually do this. So my current, my particle is moving this way. My field is into the page. So my force is this way. But my motion is this way, so I'm going to move like this. And this will continue every time I hit the electric field, I'll accelerate, and then I'll go around in circular motion, and then I'll accelerate again, and that will keep happening until it leaves through a designated channel. Now, just to kind of break this down to you, there are two very distinctive places that this charge particle's in. It's either in the magnetic field or it's in the electric field. And because the direction of the force is different compared to the way it's moving, it has slightly different effects. So, while in the magnetic field, the velocity of the object stays the same. 
and this is because the force is perpendicular to the motion which causes circular motion okay so what i've done here is i've taken the force bqv so that's the magnetic force and i've related it because that's the force that's causing it to move into a circle to mv squared over r rearranged it to get r equals mv squared over r equals over bqv and so my radius is mv over bq so the faster i'm going the bigger the radius which brings me to the electric fields. While I'm in the electric field, I will accelerate due to the field, the field is in the same direction as my motion. So the force is pulling me this way and I'm also moving this way. So I will speed up. And that's using this formula here, that electric field strength is force per unit charge. So, Relating that to the linear motion formula, MA, I end up with field strength times by the charge <coughs> on the particle equals mass times acceleration. So can you sue that to work out the acceleration? So bringing it back, while in my electric field, I'm going to speed up. When I enter my magnetic field, I'm going to curve around. Then I'm going to speed up again. And then because I've got a higher velocity, when I've entered there, my radius is bigger. So this velocity is different here. So I'm going to call this V2. This is V1. That is V2. When I enter this one, I've got faster. I'm at V3. I'm faster every time. And what we can use cyclotrons for is this idea that we can, in a small amount of space, take an object, spin it, keep going and basically keep going making it turn because of magnetic fields attracts it due to electric fields and we can keep speeding this particle up to be fired to then go and collide with some other particles to go and see what's inside of them now it's important that you recognize with a cyclotron how Fleming's left hand rules go how Fleming's left hand rule works so what I've done it here, I've done it with a positive charge. And as you can see, it's spinning anti-clockwise. I'm now going to do the exact same thing with a negative charge. Okay. So I'm just going to rub this out. Okay. So we started with positive up here and negative. So, to start with, my object will be attracted to this point here, okay? When it's inside, my field is in, but of course, negative charges are going towards the negative point, positive point. So, if I was going to work out where positive and negative is, even though the object is moving this way, okay, I have to point my finger the other way. So for electrons or anything with a negative charge, your fi electric field finger, this finger here, has to be going in the opposite direction. So field in, direction of electric field down, object will move this way. It will now accelerate down again field in, current that way, we'll move this way, velocity 2, force this way, it will move this way, okay, so that as you can see my negative particle is going clockwise, my other one went anti-clockwise, okay, that's important that the charge is, a positive charge will go clockwise, one, or it will it'll go one way. So negative charge will go one way around a cyclotron, the opposite charge will go the opposite direction, okay? So what um, cyclotrons are is this melding between electrical fields and magnetic fields, also with a little bit of circular motion thrown in. What you need to just be aware of is that while in the Ds themselves, the magnetic field is constant. So it will move, it, basically it will move in a lovely circular motion. 
The only reason the radius gets bigger is because it accelerates in that gap in between. And when it enters those d's again, it has a new velocity, which means because the mass hasn't changed, the charge hasn't changed, the magnetic field zone hasn't changed, the only thing left to change is the radius. So that there is the physics behind a cyclotron. Thank you.